Good morning guys welcome back to my channel it's been such a long time since i recorded a video and by the way happy release day if you know you know today is tuesday january 30th and i'm starting this reading vlog um on a tuesday and i'm hoping to finish on the weekend i, I don't want to go past the weekend and today our beautiful sarah j mass comes out with um crescent city 3 which i believe is a house of flame and shadows and i don't want to be spoiled at all i'm going to try to stay away from my social media as much as i can today because this is also a reading vlog um starting um i already started um in book three because i read assassin's blade first and i'm reading the throne of glass series in this reading vlog i'm actually on book three right now i'm hoping to finish a lot of this today so that we can continue um i hope i don't get tired of because these books are like really a lot of information world building things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to read um crown at midnight and give you guys an update on this i'm 100 pages into the book right now and i'm finding um i know that something's up like something's up something's up i feel like my girl's being played she always is being played like i i I don't doubt that that my girl is always being played but I read Assassin's Blade and Crown of Midnight already I gave both of these books a four star I think that they're solid reads I think that um you should take my advice if you want to and read Assassin's Blade first because we kind of understand um Selena a lot more by reading assassin's blade first and where she comes from and like the way that she is so by reading assassin's blade it kind of gives me like that understanding to like kind of keep reading her books and know exactly like what's going through her mind and like everything that she's doing and why she's doing it for her so i highly recommend i'm gonna do my makeup right now and we're gonna talk about some updates that have been going on in my life for 2024 i know this is kind of like a late start of the year because it's almost february but happy new year <laughs> i hope everyone's having an amazing year so far um as most of you guys know if you guys follow me on my you know personal social media or on my bookstagram if you have not followed me already um just go ahead and do that uh so you can keep up with like what i'm doing um, I have been on a reading slump that's not something new but I'm slowly getting out of it and I'm really proud of the fact that um, Throne of Glass have getting, has been getting me like out of that reading slump because like I hate reading slumps because like everyone around you is just having so much fun with their reads and obviously you can read like it, it's normal it happens to the best of us I didn't expect it to happen this early on in the year obviously be in January so so far I've read six books this year do you guys know we went through a fire um, last month in December and so a, a lot of exciting things are going on and happening in my life uh, for this year a lot of them obviously um, will take time like our house and I cannot wait to be at our place again and be able to have like the freedom of being alone and having my own space that's amazing another exciting thing that's happened this year um is me and my fiance are going on a vacation um i don't want to say too much uh just because like obviously a lot of people don't know and not that everyone watches my youtube uh to be completely honest no one really watched my bookstagram so or my bookstagram or my booktube nothing like that so obviously it's no one should care but me and my fiance are deciding to elope we got engaged um 2022 december of 2022 so we think that this is the year that after everything that we've been through together we feel like it is the year that we should uh, be married and that's coming up in august so in a few months and then we're hoping to uh, even though whether the house is ready or not we're hoping to just go on just on our honeymoon like a well-deserved honeymoon i feel like me him and i deserve that after everything that we've been through we deserve to go somewhere and just enjoy ourselves and relax and just be in each other's company other than obviously with family and friends now that we are um here 
but we feel like we deserve that. Another thing that I'm excited about for this year is that we get to kind of do our house all over again. And that's really exciting just because obviously we love our house the way it was and we wouldn't change it for anything because obviously we loved it how it was and we purchased that house the way it was but obviously with everything you can now make changes and I cannot wait to kind of like make that big change when it comes to my at-home library in our back room where I typically like spend most of my time and do my reading walks and things like that like that's something that I'm excited and looking forward for so I feel like 2024 it's an amazing year for that um I have so many books that I have not shown you guys yet that I have been collecting and I have my really big book cart I'm excited to show all of the books that I have not shown as of right now in my book hauls because um obviously I I had so many gift cards uh for Christmas and also my birthday was in November so I didn't spend all of my my gifts I just I waited until after December and thank god that I did because obviously a lot of my books got ruined so thank god that I waited another thing that I did for the year of 2024 was low my reading um goal for 2024 i read i set my goal last year for 100 books and i read more than that i think i read 124 or 123 something like that and the reason of that was because obviously we have a lot of things going on in the month of um actually in the year of 2024 and I don't want to set high expectations just because to be completely honest the number that we put on our goodreads can really mess up with our brain and we try to uh, not enjoy our books so often and just like try to listen as many audiobooks as you can or try to just kind of like not really pay attention to the books that you're reading and that's something that I really do not want to do I don't want to just read to kind of like you know check that mark on my um, gold on my Goodreads gold so that way that way I kind of like by lowering my my reading gold I kind of like give myself that like good you could do this you don't have to overdo yourself so I set it up for, I believe, 80 this year. You know in the comments what your reading goal, um, what you set your reading goal for. And nothing is too little, nothing is too much. Whatever you read and whatever, however your year goes, I hope that your year goes amazing and that you get to read all of those amazing books that you set yourself to read. I finished my makeup and my hair is kind of doing whatever I want, so I'm just going to leave it alone i want to do a little bit of a book haul of the books that i was able to collect over the time these are books that i probably did not add to my um last video which was a book haul i had like 20 plus books and i think i have even more i have my book cart behind me and i just want to speed through all of the books that i got um i found icebreaker in a little free library if you know this book is like a really good book i gave it a four stars it's not like when i think of a four star i think of like a favorite but it's not like top tier five star so this we follow um nate and anastasia i'm not gonna go into like a synopsis or anything but i did i did find it there it's like literally brand new so i'm, I'm guessing someone didn't enjoy it and didn't like it i didn't have it because of the flyer so i lost my copy so i i just obviously i had to grab it she is kind of like the grumpy he is the sunshine and this is kind of like an enemies to lovers i would say because they have to share it's like for first proximity they have to kind of share a ring so this is amazing i love this i also got the shining story behind this is if have you seen friends they talk about this book in friends and i i feel like now that i'm a reader i had to pick this up it's like a no-brainer so that's that i also got this book and i'm two books away from the off-campus series to be able to finish this book so i'm not going to read this book until i finish um, the off-campus series um what else do i have that i didn't show on the last 
video. Let me just go through this card. These are also one of those books that I'm not sure if I mentioned on my last vlog i on my last video i'm not i'm not quite sure but i got one dark window and two twisted crowns when i tell you that i'm so excited to read these books i'm so freaking excited everyone has been giving these books like the praise and all this good reviews and everything so i'm wondering like i want to form my own opinions about this obviously your girl is into like this right now i'm in my fantasy era when it comes to um throne of glass so i i'm really excited to keep reading this book i'm gonna just pick it up right now before starting work but these are um the other books that i picked up i'm excited that i have the completed series I'm go ahead and come back when i have another update on crown of midnight and i'm more into uh the story i'm 100 pages in right now and like i mentioned at the beginning something's up something is up they're playing my girl selena i love dorian um i think that dorian i'm attracted to him and i think that she has a shot with him and we know that but i also feel like obviously this here is kind of like we follow like a love triangle between dorian her and um cow call i'm butchering the name i already know but the other guy we know the captain of the guard him i feel like she should end up with him i always want the girl to end up with the opposite person that i know that she probably is going to end up with i'm like super excited about this book like i cannot wait i will come back when i have another update for you guys Hi guys, I have an update on Crown of Midnight. I actually finished this book last night. And let me tell you, also, I'm drinking an Alani New. I love these drinks. Mm. So good. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting here. It's not the greatest. So I finished Crown of Midnight and I gave that book, I'm giving that book a five star. I, I'm, I'm in love. The ending of that book, got me and i've heard that it just keeps getting better and better and that every book kind of gives you like that cliffhanger feel which is why i started air of fire because i'm obsessed i started air of fire because i just needed to continue with the story the ending of crown of midnight was shocking i did not know that uh i mean it's obvious i really thought that she was you know um i don't want to spoil anything for anyone and i'm trying to do this vlog with minimal like spoiling because i know a lot of people haven't like read the series just like a lot of people haven't you know read akatar and things like that so i don't want to ruin it for everyone or for absolutely anyone but let me tell you the ending of crown of midnight it was shocking the relationship between Selena and I know I'm gonna butcher the name, but we all know I am Cal, Cal, whatever his name is, the captain of the guard. I'm just gonna say the captain of the guard. Amazing. Um, but at the same time, I just feel like there's everything. It's like they're trying to things are trying to keep them apart. Obviously, he's the captain of the guard, so he works for the king, and Selena is slave basically by the king being her assa his assassin and so my girl my girl is a badass like something really happened to her she lost someone really important in this book and obviously we follow her through that and the character development that she's had from book one which to me was assassin's blade to this one has been so like she's growing my girl is growing my girl is learning she's such a good person but again she's an assassin because she has to be not because she chooses to be and it was just like that's just what the life that she you know had to have so obviously we are following her now in air of fire and she's going after the people who did her dirty and who did her friend dirty and i love that for her i'm like obsessed i'm only in chapter 
four on this book so obviously this is a little bit of a bigger book this is like 500 plus pages so i'm going to probably read a lot of this i don't even think i can read tonight because i'm going out after work so obviously i'm not gonna have time to read more unfortunately so i might not even get to pick this up oh, it's so sad that is so sad now that i think about it i want to cancel my plans um i might not be able to read this a lot but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close out the video here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna post um my review on crown of midnight and obviously i read assassin's blade and throne of glass already so i'm gonna close out the video here with this little chit chat get ready with me just know that i'm reading air of fire right now and then i'm gonna continue with the reading log on part two i'm gonna make this into two parts just because there's so many books so i'm probably gonna do um the next three books in another reading vlog so uh thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much i am back hopefully i can keep recording and i don't shy away from recording because i always do that so um keep me accountable in the comments i am obsessing over throne of glass right now and eventually this year i want to do a reread of a core of thorns and roses which is just akatar the akatar series because my bestie um is actually getting herself to read it she's never read fantasy romance and she's starting with akatar which i feel like it's a good start because that's that was like my second series that i started when i didn't know anything about fantasy romance and it was amazing and if you have not watched any of larry's tiktok videos or youtube videos she just recently read it and she is everything she gives everything if you want to know what her reactions were if you read the series already go back and watch her videos because they're amazing anyways if you guys made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned let me know in the comments which one of the series which book in the series is your favorite so far obviously out of the three that i read crown of midnight and i've heard that the more you keep going you're gonna like develop your own opinions later on but so far crown of midnight oh I, i'm not gonna say anything i have a thought about this book right now but i'm not gonna say anything i'm just gonna leave it for the next for the next vlog so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one